Uh, Representative Escamani, I want to start with you because Florida's feeling like a hot mess uh, <laughs> right now. It doesn't seem like anything is going well. It's kind of shocking to me that this man is running around the country pitching himself to make America Florida. Florida's a mess. You don't want to be like Florida, Joy. And first of all, it's great to see you and Dean. You're absolutely right. I mean, Floridians cannot afford Florida right now. And, and breaking news, another insurance company is dropping policies in Florida. AAA also announced that they're dropping uh, policyholders in both home and auto in our state because of the impact of climate change and lack of action. Our Republican supermajority leaders have decided to not take. I mean, this is a really dire moment in Florida where everyday people are struggling make ends meet. Meanwhile, our governor is not even appealing to, you know, his base of voters, despite the fact that he's gone all the way to the far right in an attempt to do that. Let me. But I mean, the thing is, you live in a state where the climate crisis is it's here, right? It's already driving insurance insurers out of your state. Has the Republican, have your colleagues on the other side of the aisle accepted that? Because literally insurance yeah. companies are leaving. Well, I'm sad to say that I did read that article because I don't know who did it, honestly. I was Page six. Really Sorry that I know that. <laughs> the entire context of it. Um, but no, you're right. I mean, in the context of, you know, reality check, climate change is real. Florida is directly impacted by it. If you spend time in South Florida, Miami, uh, we have high tide and, and flooding in our streets. And of course, extreme weather patterns and our water temperatures around us are yeah. are historically high and unprecedented. So um, my Republican colleagues have taken no action on this. In fact, Governor DeSantis vetoed uh, millions yeah. of dollars for electric vehicle transition. L let me ask you this, because in Florida, I wonder if he is starting to take an internal hit, because the abortion ban alone makes him unelectable on a national scale, period. I mean, all of these, except for a handful of them uh, that are in the Republican primary, including Tim Scott, they all want a national abortion ban. But he has already implemented a six-week one. So he's done. And I wonder if inside Florida, people are starting to realize that, even some Republicans. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the loser of them all? I mean, DeSantis has not only failed his Republican base, but he's failing the general electorate, because you're absolutely right, Joy. These positions he's taken, a six-week abortion ban is so extreme that people do not even know they're pregnant yet at that point. And of course, he wants to go even further. You know, he has made rhetoric and 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 speeches that want to ban abortion completely. And not only is it unpopular in our state, but it's unpopular around the country. And more and more Floridians are starting to see the light and realize that this guy he is a performance and not even one that's worth paying for. I mean, yeah. he really has failed our state. And for all the calls of the free state of Florida, I mean, people do not have the freedom to be healthy, safe, or prosperous. Well, folks, we made it to the end of another week, which means it's time to play our favorite game. That's the music we love. Who won the week? Back with me are Florida State Representative Anna Eskimani and Dean Obedala, comedian extraordinaire. Representative Eskimani, ladies first, who won the week? <laughs> this is a tough one. I almost went with orcas, but I decided <laughs> to go with the labor movement as they have just been... I mean, it's been incredible to see workers from UPS to our actors to writers all stand up in solidarity, and it's so inspirational to see. Do you know what? But Orcas is a really good second choice because they're eating up everybody. Uh, Dean, who won the week? 